In this video, we're going to take a look at the RX 580 and see its performance in 2023. And it starts now. Okay, so about a week ago, I was going through my storage boxes and came upon my RX 580 box, to which I remembered it's one of the GPUs I started to test on this channel. And it's been a while since I tested it, so I figured, let's test it again. So the RX 580 was released on April 18 of 2017, making this card almost 6 years old. And by PC standards, that's considered really old and outdated. But according to Steam Hardware Survey, the RX 580 still commands a 1.17% market share on their platform. And with Steam users reported to be at around 120 million as of January 2023, that equates to roughly 1.4 million users still using this card, and that's freaking a lot. So it begs the question, can the RX 580 still handle modern title games? And if you're trying to build a low-cost 1080p build, is it worth the purchase? First thing I needed to do was clean the GPU itself, because it's been sitting around in the storage for about 3 years now. I disassembled the card for a deeper clean and changed the thermal paste, but I didn't replace the thermal pads because my order for the replacement ones didn't arrive on time. So for our test, I'm going to put the RX 580 through 50 games on 1920 by 1080p resolution, testing them and playing them on actual gameplay and not using the in-game benchmark tool that testers usually use. Among the games tested are famous eSport titles like CSGO, Valorant, and Dota 2. We also tested RPG games like Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Cyberpunk 2077. On a side note, I skipped testing Quad HD because the RX 580 was originally meant for 1080p gaming, and let's be honest, the RX 580 is not gonna fare well on 1440p. For our test platform, I went with the Intel setup that I usually use. An i5-12400F mated to a ROG Strix B660 motherboard with 32 gigs of 3600 MHz RAMs. For the full list of parts used for this test, I will leave them down in the description. The operating system used for this test is Windows 10 Pro version 22H2, and for the GPU drivers, I used Adrenaline version 22.11.2. The exact graphic settings used per game will be shown at the start of every test, but in general, I used medium to high settings on most games. For those who want to crunch the numbers, graphs of the results will be available at the end of the video. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Come on! Take out this trash! Target eliminated! Oh, 
Friendly UAV online. online. Friendly UAV on station. Locating the next one. Cambiando cargador. Hard point compromised. Mirando, no, no, no. Secure the location updated. Capture the hard point. Switching max! Enemy personnel at the hard point. Domination. Capture the objective. Plan ahead, plan to win. Securing able. Losing objective able. Recon planes all set. Go get them. Oh, One dog on call. Friendly attack dogs on the way. Calling for a dog. Nearly done. This one's ours. Hell of a guard dog on the way here. Robert, ready for order. Actual, send recon. Falcon 3 0, good cut. Halfway there, we're fighting. Please. I have to reload. Next hard point, let's go.
Make sure.
I could Dyer's have predicted this. Tower is under attack. I feel like a broken record. Thank <laughs> you. 
You have embarrassed me enough. Die.
keeps up, bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Long time no see. Here's your stuff. Hostile radio intercepted. We're under attack. It might be a diversion, so be ready. Intercepted. I'm heading upstairs to the hostage. Everybody, get to the atrium. Jambo, 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 jambo. Changing mag. One out, four remaining. One friendly remaining. 切口切口外面。
Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fan.
Land. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy Dan city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! <laughs> Match. Warm up.
something more. With the test clip over, we come to our results. The RX 580 8GB still manages to run almost all games on 60fps using medium to high settings. However, on some games, you might need to further lower down the settings to get at least 60fps average. The GPU was able to run modern game titles like Warzone 2.0 and Dying Light 2 on playable frame rates while older games like Dragon Age Inquisition and GTA V were averaging well above 60fps. 1% lows on most games are also decent, so you can expect smooth frame times. As usual, the FPS average on eSport tiles like CSGO and Valorant are well above 100fps, making the RX 580 a good choice if you only play those games. So is the RX 580 still worth it in 2023? Mm, kind of. It would depend on your needs and budget. At its price range of around 160 US dollars, it will be hard to find any GPUs for the same price at the same performance. The closest competition it would have would be the GTX 1066 gig, which still retails for around 200 US dollars. Oh, and by the way, if you see any OEM brands trying to sell the RX 580, always check if it's the 2048 SP version of the card. It's the version of the RX 580 which was released exclusively for the Chinese market back in 2018. It has a reduced shading units of 2048, while the original RX 580 has around 2304 shading units. Obviously, the 2048SP version will have a reduced or lower performance compared to the original or standard RX 580. Anyways, if you're planning to build a low-cost 1080p gaming machine, the RX 580 is surely a GPU to consider. On that note, we end our video. I would love to hear your feedbacks down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.